what's going on youtubers stereotype here and uh, I never saw anybody do this before on YouTube I think it might be the first one but you know I'll probably get someone to tell me that I'm not I'm actually going to be bringing you two matches with this upload the first one is a team death match on invasion I don't quite remember what I'm going because I'm just commentating as I go while trying to text message slash trying to watch Pawn Stars slash doing all sorts of different shit. So uh, in this video I'm running Scar and that was my text messaging. In this video I'm running the Scar and the Thumper and the Scar has the grenade launchers and the only reason I have the Thumper is in case this turns into a noob tube lobby so that I can at least have something to defend myself with. Because I found a lot of times I would join these games all of a sudden one dude with noob tube, two dudes with noob tube, all of a sudden, noob tube galore. You can't spawn without seeing stuff flying, things are banging, you can't hear anybody's footsteps. It's just awful. So I run with the thumper and the grenade launcher now, just in case. Every once in a while, I will run out of ammo and I will use the grenade launcher. I apologize, but isn't that what it's for? At least I'm not one man army. I believe I'm running marathon, um, steady aim. And I can't really remember the other one. Uh, if I could, I'd tell you, but I can't. I believe it's stopping power. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this, so I don't even know if steady aim and stopping power are on the same thing. So basically, I thought that I would try to one up the rev and try to play for a nuke today. Unfortunately, I am such a low level that I don't have the nuke unlocked. I was a fool. And I decided to go ahead and unlock the chopper gunner, and then I was like, oh, well, the chopper gunner can get me to the nuke. Unfortunately, if I don't have a nuke, there's nothing to get. With that said, I, I guess I just throw the harriers up a few times. I can never quite seem to get to the chopper gunner when I want to. I always press. That's a problem. I just need to play. I don't like to press. But I do it anyway. And so I wanted to talk about television shows. Of all things, television shows. I know, it's so random. And I'm being random, but I like being random. Random is fun. Random is awesome. Winning is awesome. Charlie Sheen is a douche. But winning is awesome. Tiger's blood. Ooh, duh. Winning. So, television shows. I'm sure everybody's got a favorite. I don't know if I have a favorite. I will watch anything that's on television sporting events. Today I was trying to find a Fox Sports channel that would allow me to watch any baseball game that was on. I, I need to see something win. I need to watch a baseball game and root for a team that's winning. Because the Red Sox are 2 and 9. 2 and freaking 9. What am I going to... It's... Uh, Dice K, 7 runs, really? I'm getting off topic, but seriously, the Red Sox need to step it up or I'm going to cry. In fact, I'm crying right now. I'm inside. You can see my soul it has a frowny face. It's not good. It's not good at all. So back to TV shows. It really depends on the night, honestly. Um, I'm really into those reality shows that aren't reality shows. And what I mean by that is Pawn Stars, uh, American Pickers, X-Men. Deadliest Catch is awful. I can't get into Deadliest Catch. I can get into Coal. I can get into that Alaskan gold mining one. That one's cool as shit. I don't know why. I don't even remember what it's called. It's called like Gold Rush, maybe. But I can get into that all day, every day. Ice Road Truckers. That kind of stuff is amazing. I love those kind of television shows. Because it's not Snooky being a little whore going to a club and crying that some guy spilled a drink on her. In fact, I thought it was hilarious when she got punched in the face. I replayed that thing like six times and I just raffled and rolled the whole time. She's got it off the scalp of her head so that she can't grow anything back. But that poof? What is a poof? Honestly, I'd like to poof you out of existence, woman. Anyway, <laughs> such a tangent. When it comes to those kind of shows, I just get into it. Ghost Hunters. Tonight's Wednesday. You know what that means? Ghost Hunters. You know what that means? I'm going to be sitting in front of the Sci Fi channel non stop. Destination Truth. That's a great one. I wish they still played that back to back. Fact or Fake, another good one. I actually found that one on Hulu, and then it was like, 
why isn't Destination Truth on after Ghost Hunters anymore? Oh, it's because Factor Faked is on, and it's way better. Get the kill. Oh, I'll get some. Somebody was just shooting at him. Thank God I got that. Anyway, and when it comes to real television shows, I don't know if I'm the only one, or if other people like shows like Psych, like Monk. Monk's an older one. I can't kill the sentry. How many shots with the sentry does it take? Plus the dude standing right behind it. And I just get hit markers on him and the sentry gun. Anyway, Psych is one of those shows where the comedic genius is absolutely perfect. That's my kind of humor. It needs to be random, off the cuff, singing, doing weird dances. Oh, I love that stuff. That stuff really gets me going, and I think that's hilarious. Um, burn Notice. If anyone out there has watched Burn Notice, I, man, that's a good show. Again, like there's humor there, but it's not meant to be humorous. But if you have that kind of sense of humor, it's perfect. And that guy, I don't even know what happened. I wish I had watched the kill cam because I think I shot him. He goes in the last stand, and I think I literally light up the door jam. And the stopping power should have gone through the door jam, but that's my luck when I play this game. So more TV shows? Does, do people want to hear me talk about more TV shows? I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, yeah, they're fun, but I don't really have anyone here to talk about with TV shows. If the Rev was sitting here, we'd go back and forth about how he loves the... he loves Snooki and the Jersey Shore, and every time I watch him see it, I literally vomit on his feet, and then he has to go take a shower, and then he can't watch, and he gets really mad, but that's what happens. I just hawk a big one up. So there you go, I finished that game. I mean, it's it's some decent gameplay, 22 kills. I guess I'm on top of everybody else. But, you know, I wish the game winning kill could have been me and not this stupid Harrier. I hate when Harriers get the game winning kills. This is also going to be Team Deathmatch, except it's going to be on Skid Row. Skid Row happens to be my favorite match. But I don't really want to talk about Skid Row or the gameplay. You can see it. I have to cut off the end final score screen, but I believe I am 30 and 12, 30 and 11. You don't have to take my word for it if you want to count up the kills and the deaths, go ahead. I'm pretty sure I start out like 4 and 8, 3 and 8 maybe, and then just proceed to great face because I got pissed because this is my favorite map and that shouldn't happen. So with that said, I'd like to move from television shows. Actually, wait, I forgot to tell you. If you're ever having a bad day, or you're ever feeling bad about yourself, go ahead, watch Intervention. A and E. Go put it on. Lifetime, put it on. Do it. You know why? Because it's going to make you feel great about yourself. Doesn't matter if you're having the worst day. Doesn't matter if your parents died. I, like, I guess that matters, actually, so I shouldn't say that. But if you're having a bad day, watch intervention because those people are fucked up those people can't help themselves and it just makes you feel better and I know that's a probably bad for me to say but I get hooked I don't know what it is but I think I get high watching these people get high I don't know maybe I'm living vicariously through them because I don't want to ever smoke crack but it seems very interesting I don't want to shoot heroin but it's damn interesting to watch someone that fucked up put something in their veins like that. With that said, now I'd like to turn my attention to movies. Um, I, this Friday, in a couple of days, going to see Scream with my girlfriend. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go shopping because I need to get clothes for work. Because when they give you a raise, that's what you do. You go buy more clothes and you show them that you're serious so that hopefully you can get another raise in the near future. But this economy, who knows? I'm lucky to I'm lucky to get my raise as it is. Plus, I'm getting more hours. Soon I'll qualify for their insurance. But this is about Scream. So I'm going to see Scream. And I don't know if I should look forward to that or if I should be depressed that they made another one. And Scream was my childhood. I mean, Jamie Kennedy, if you see this tape, I'm already dead, the rules of horror movies, that, that movie, those movies were so awesome, I mean, oh, excuse me, Nev Campbell, she's alright, Naomi Campbell, whatever her name is, same as that Courtney Cox, but, you know, 
Hayden Penetier is in it. I think that's like the only known person I know besides Courtney Cox and the Campbell chick that I don't really know her name. I think Naomi Campbell's black, so I think it's Nev Campbell. Or maybe Nev Campbell's black, so it's Naomi Campbell. Someone please correct me on this, because I don't know. But I'm taking my girlfriend to see Scream because she also loves those movies. And I wish with the long weekend because of Patriot's Day, woo Massachusetts, because of Patriot's Day, I wish I could go with her to her house for the long weekend, but she wants to spend time with her family because she's at college, I'm not at college, so she wants to spend the time with her mom and her brother and her dad and just chill and have a lazy weekend, and when I'm there, I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go hiking, let's go for a run, let's go to the mall, let's, let's go out and get coffee at this place and get all jittery, if I'm not shaking, I need another cup. <laughs> That's the kind of person I am. I just like to go do things, get them done, and have the most fun ever. But if you don't think I should see Scream, let me know. I'm going to see it anyway, but let me know. I mean, slasher movies are always good, aren't they? You go see a slasher movie, you know you're going to see people die. You know you're going to go, oh, man, I never want my throat cut. You know that feeling? Oh, when they slice someone's throat and they're just like bleeding and they're like, I can't breathe. Oh. That just makes me freak out. I honestly don't know how I died right here. How I didn't die. I'm so glad that this guy came over and took all the bullets. It's like, thanks, give me that dude's hair here. I don't know. I failed at that. But I don't know why that guy doesn't chase me. He just goes right back for his package. And he really drew our whole team over there. I, I honestly... honestly wish I could have caught him all. I could have. I should have. I should have stayed over there and just took all of his stuff. But... It's okay. So with Scream, I believe we also recently went and saw a movie. I'm trying to remember what one it was. Oh, oh, I remember what it was. Black Swan. If anybody watching this has seen Black Swan and you do not agree that that was the best movie you have ever seen, you're crazy. I, that's the only way I could put it. You are crazy. Black Swan was a mind fuck. I mean, oh, wow. It was just such an intense trip. Like, the director was just like, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to make it abstract. And I'm going to make you be like, what the fuck? I don't get this movie. And then at the end, I'm going to give you this one scene that sums it all up. And you're going to look at yourself in the mirror the next day and go, holy fucking shit. Wow. I'm pretty sure that the director of that movie raped my mind last night. I mean, that was probably the best movie I have seen in two or three years. I've Now, when I say two or three years, Cloverfield is what? Three years old now, so maybe I shouldn't say that. Because Cloverfield... I saw that one twice. That's the only movie I've ever seen twice in the theater because Cloverfield was intense. And if you can't see, I like my forms of entertainment. I love movies. I love TV shows. Give me a video game. Any kind of video game. I will play it. Give me a little old Game Boy and hand me Pokemon Blue and I will just have a ball in my corner for hours just trying to raise up my Squirtle. <laughs> on a side note, and I don't know why I thought of this, but does anyone remember the commercials that are for the Cadbury eggs where they show the lion and he's like, brr, brr, and then all of a sudden they show the rabbit and he's just like, buck meow, buck meow. <laughs> Those make me laugh every time because I don't understand why the meow is included in that. I understand the buck for, you know, like, I guess, I actually, I really don't understand why it says buck meow at all, to be completely honest. Buck meow, buck meow. There's a sick double kill and a final kill right there to go 